Hello everyone, this is Tyler. I am the owner and CEO of Diesel Laptops, and I'm here today to talk to you about DTC Solutions version 2.5. So first of all, if you're on any of the 2.2-ish or newer platform, and you click this little info button, you'll see that there's a little button here now that says check for updates, and you simply just click that, and it would ask you uh, if there was an update available, if you should download it or not. In our case, we've already downloaded the update, it's there. If your version does not have this check for updates button and your interface looks like ours, please, please, please call into our technical support, 888-983-1975. Uh, extension 2 and they will upgrade you for free to the latest version because you're missing a lot of great things that we're doing here and we really have updates that we're coming out with about every month and I want to show you some of the new things we added to this one uh, along with some of the new features as well so first of all let's talk about what we did add so in this update there's around 80 more wiring diagrams some are new some are updates because we decided to go back through them and make them just a little bit better for everyone. So I'm going to pull up a wiring diagram for someone, for everyone here. So let's pull up one of these ISC CM2150 wiring diagrams. So again, we have our pictures of the ECM connector and the pinouts on that ECM, which should be there. And then we have a little direction thing on how to read this diagram where we talk about all the different icons and what all these things mean and how they all work together and abbreviations. And then of course we have our wiring diagrams and we're showing our ECM connector to the components. And that's great, people love that, and, but we wanna do one better. So I'm gonna go right down here to the bottom. At the bottom now, you'll see the chassis connector side of it as well. So we wanted to keep uh, kind of expanding upon this and giving everyone a little bit more information. We actually have another version of these coming out right away as well. We decided to kind of redo the icons. So they all look different and kind of make more sense. So you'll be seeing those coming out in future updates as well. But again, over 80 wiring diagrams either replaced or added new to the system since the last update, which is about a month ago. And then we added a new feature to the system as well, and it's our component locator. So currently there's only about 12 of them in here, but I would expect going forward you'll be seeing a lot more of these. So if I go to a DT466, you'll now see over here on the left, besides wiring diagrams, I have one that says component locators. So I will click that, and again it's going to bring a PDF, and this is for a certain series of engines, and you're going to start seeing pictures of the engines from different angles. And things that are yellow will have arrows pointed to them where they talk about the different componentry that's there. So everything from hard parts like the VGT and EGR coolers and EGR assemblies and, and all those things, all the way to uh, sensor locations for the ones that are easily accessible to get to. So you'll see a ton of these coming your way. I think they're very helpful. It's something that's been asked for for years. And finally, we got the resources devoted to it. And um, I wouldn't be shocked if the next one comes out and there's another 15 or 20. And it'll just be like that every month as we keep clicking along here. So in terms of the database itself, we did do some updates as well, particularly with Allison. We used to have just one in here that said Allison 1000, 2000, and we kind of had generation four and five mashed together. But in this release, we started splitting them all out. So what are the differences? There are some slight differences. So you'll see on a 1000, 2000 Gen 4, there is no P0603. It goes from 602 to 606, right? Uh, but if I go to a Gen 5, you'll see that there is a P0603 code and a 604 code and some other ones that are specific to that generation. Now they were all there before, but we just thought it kind of clarified things a little bit. And generation five really happened around 2012-ish, just for your information. And the other thing we added was a whole bunch of Ford. So if I go over to Ford and I go to ECMs, previously there was only about three or four of them in here. And now we've pretty much added for every single year uh, all the different possible variations. We're missing a couple still. They're in process. They will be coming out. Obviously just takes time. But I think for what our team put together the last 30 days with wiring diagrams, component locators, a whole bunch of new modules. And I can tell everyone this. We have a lot of really, really cool things that are in the works that we haven't really unveiled yet or put out there to the market. So keep watching. Keep following. Uh, keep going into the program. Keep hitting that check for updates button and making sure you're staying current and caught up. So that's it. I hope everyone enjoys the product. Thank you for watching.